Hey, so how's it going everyone and welcome to this brand new video tutorial on OpenGL 2D game programming. Um, so in this video tutorial, we, um, in this video tutorial series, uh, we're going to learn uh, some basic OpenGL stuff and I'm going to keep this in two dimensions so that it is simple for beginners to follow. Although I'm going to make some 3D video tutorial series in future. And so for this series, we're gonna um, uh, make this game. Uh, using OpenGL C++ uh, and with the help of GLUT library uh, we're going to use the GLUT library because uh, it makes the programming tasks uh, really simple and um, decreases a lot of effort and so makes uh, um, so let's just focus on our game programming and if you want the source code um, and binaries of this game right now there is a link down in the description um, plus there is also a link to my blog um, in the description where you can find the written tutorials for the same or I recommend that you watch the video tutorials because um, this way you can follow what you see for, um, in the video the, this is a lot easier for beginners uh, and so this is going to be a goal for uh, this tutorial series um, and I hope you have a bit of a knowledge about uh, 3d rendering APIs like um, and you are familiar with the coordinate system and graphs although we're not going to go to 3d coordinate system in this video tutorial we're just going to stay on two dimensions and so if you have that knowledge that will be good and if you know nothing absolutely nothing about OpenGL what it is how it works and you just here to code games um, this tutorial isn't for you because uh, you need to be familiar with the APIs and you also need a set environment for OpenGL, GLUT and C++ which I recommend for code blocks is good you can use Dave C++ or um, you may use your own compiler whatever you use or uh, Visual C++ uh, is also great and so now we're going to get this started with the tutorial part and and so we'll start with creating a new GLUT project and I hope you have set the environment uh, for your programming in C++ OpenGL and GLUT and I will name it snake tutorial whatever you can have here and so uh, we have to start from scratch so we'll remove all the template code and now let's just start by including the OpenGL stuff first one which will be uh, gl.h so just, this is the header file for the OpenGL and if you have uh, um, OpenGL installed in your compiler um, directories or uh, on your system you will have this file located um, and now we are of course going to use the glut library to simplify things up so you need these two header files and rest will be taken care of the uh, by the glut.h header file and one more thing that I want to go over is that uh, glut uh, is not being developed anymore so it is depreciated and it may not work with your compiler so you may consider using free glut instead you may um, uh, find about it on more on Google um, although I'll let you know that I'm using free glut though the header file is same for both and the function calls are also similar and I've not found uh, much differences as far as I have uh, experienced with free glut so now let's get started by the main function in C++ and uh, I'm going to work with C++ but this code will also compile with C um, I'll just need a few changes and I'm not going to use the object oriented programming concepts uh, here so there won't be any problem transporting your code to um, C from this C++ language so the first thing which we want to do in the main function is initialized glut so which we use a function glut init to initialize glut uh, and this takes uh, two arguments which are passed into your program when it runs so this uh, argument uh, arguments will be um, used to initialize glut 
while the program is uh, being called so you'll just pass them uh, so first one is a pointer so you need to pass its address and the second one is a pointer to a pointer so it is already the same here and you just pass it directly um, and our function will return a zero value and now that we've initialized glut we can start using it so this function needs to be called um, before you uh, start using any of the glut libraries uh, glut library functions this is necessary um, now you need to initialize the display mode which you uh, which you're gonna use in your OpenGL application um, so which uh, you use glut init um, display mode so you're initializing the display mode um, this function is used for this so currently we'll worry about the color mode which uh, you have choices between the color index and the RGBA mode you may find uh, about it uh, on Google you can just uh, re uh, learn a bit more about it but I'm going to focus here now on game programming and I'm going to work with RG uh, B mode because I think it's better than color index mode while you're looking for game programming and why you uh, know that in future as you work with OpenGL and so now you've initialized the display mode uh, we also need a double buffer window uh, which will not uh, worry about right now we'll just do that stuff later um, so after initializing the display mode we need to display the window display window on the screen on which the stuff will be drawn the game window so for that uh, to create window you need to call some routines uh, of the glut library here so um, which will be uh, the first of them which you can use is glut init window position which initializes the position of your window which you're going to create and this takes um, two arguments x and y coordinates on your screen of the window which is going to be displayed um, and this is optional um, you usually don't need to do uh, set the particular position and if you don't uh, set it um, the window will be randomly placed on your screen anywhere and the next thing which uh, you should use is uh, glut uh, is initialize the window size there is a particular uh, default size but uh, we're not going to talk about it as we need custom uh, so initialize window size and it takes two arguments the width and the height of the window so for now we're going to keep it a square of uh, uh, 500 pixels on the each side so we have um, initialize the window size of a window and the next function uh, next routine which we can call uh, is uh, glut create window which will create uh, the window now uh, whatever uh, windowing ap um, api you're using glut will take care of it and it takes one argument one argument which is the title of the window which is going to be displayed so this is displayed over the top of the window so we'll now keep it snake so this is a string inside this create window function this takes a string parameter now if we've created a window it won't work unless we have called the main loop so the, all the processing of the um, routines we've called will be started when the main loop of the glut starts so the function is glut main loop and now at this point the processing of all the stuff will be started and the window will be displayed mm. and so that, that's uh, not all because uh, you have not yet initialized the display uh, you have not yet registered the display callback for the window you just created so this needs uh, a display callback so this gives an error that display callback has not been registered for window 1 so now how you will register display callback so now in glut you, uh, to register display callback you need to call the glut display function and it takes the name of your display callback as an argument you can see the parameter list here it takes a uh, name of the function which uh, returns void and ha takes no parameters void parameters and so we're going to create a similar function to keep as a display callback we'll just keep it empty and work with our function so we'll keep it void and uh, we, it needs to be void and name it uh, display callback and it takes no parameters and we'll define it down here Uh, 
and uh, for now just keep it empty we just registering the display callback it does nothing so we have registered the display callback as this function and now one more thing uh, which you want in your program is a double buffered window um, so you need to use the display mode function to initialize a double buffer window you need to uh, use the binary or operator with the other mode you want which will be glut double which gives us a double buffered uh, display mode so we just use the or uh, binary or operator to or these two things together so we want a rgb rgb display mode with double buffered window um, and now what is a double buffered window that um, it um, actually at one time there are two display buffers working um, and while the one is uh, one frame buffer is uh, displayed on the screen it is used to display the frame on the screen the other is being drawn and uh, when the next frame is to be displayed the one being drawn is now displayed and which was earlier being displayed will be used for drawing the next frame so this is just redraw and then swap the buffers this is how animation works in double buffered window um, you can also use single buffer which is the same frame is being drawn and erased and then again the next frame is drawn onto the same uh, but uh, that uh, usually hinders the performance of your application so you'll consider using a double buffered window so this is better for game programming now you have double buffered window the buffers are not swept automatically you need to use a function here so your display callback draws the stuff on the screen and then after drawing is completed you need to swap the buffer being drawn with the buffer being displayed so you at the end of the display callback you will call glut swap buffers this function will swap the buffers and the next frame will be displayed on the screen so it just displays the next frame whenever the display callback is called a new frame is displayed onto the screen and so now you're done with the code we will now run the program with the registered display callback and we will now get our window on the screen so this is currently black and the color stuff uh, setting the coordinate system and drawing stuff on the screen will be covered in the upcoming parts 